So this was, and uh, the another thing pretty which I liked about this is the the browser. It's it's kind of similar to Google Chrome what we see in the in the computer. You can actually. I'm sorry, the phone is a little big for my hand. Let's use this. You can use the different browsers as, for example, you can, let's open Picasa here. And you see even the speed of the browsing is much, much, much better um, in in this and you can see you can multitask shift between two tabs also you can use the web os functionality you can just delete them by sliding your finger which is pretty cool feature and the gallery is also like a windows live tile gallery i don't have any pictures in here so i can show it to you and the settings is like you know you can go to wi-fi you can see all the wi-fi settings it's on right now let's turn it on and let's see see all the Wi-Fi is over there and then Bluetooth and then this is the data usage where you can actually see the data usage which your phone has been using and uh, or you can limit your cell phone data usage and also one more feature in this is you can actually restrict the background data for applications for example you have a limited data plan and uh, for you email is more important than Facebook so you can actually restrict the background data usage for Facebook and keep using your email so that's kind of cool feature in there and which is pretty helpful if you have a limited data plan also it helps you monitor battery usage in a better way than other phones okay the only thing bad about this settings module is the airplane mode is not directly outside which I believe should be on the top because I use it a lot whenever we go to meetings or classrooms or something I'm sorry and so the rest all the settings are almost same settings app battery settings you can just see the battery usage which screen is using 52 percent of my battery so I can actually reduce the brightness and save the battery over there so it's good micromanagement features over here you can actually look at what your phone is using and what you're not and let's look at the phone uh, the status of the phone battery I have to charge the battery network mobile IMEA and everything and uh, model number look at this Nexus HD2 which is kinda cool <laughs> And Android version is 4.0.1, baseband and different ROM version, which are basically actually uh, custom ROMs, so it's not the official Google ROM. But let's see. Okay, so then you get the Google Plus application inbuilt with this. You can actually use Stream, all circles and everything. You see all of these features. These are actually Windows 7, the way you have Windows 7 UI. But it's pretty cool. But I, I, I wish they would have come with something original rather than just tweaking things from WebOS or Windows 7. This is the Messenger. And these are the photographs. You see, they are still using kind of Picasa, I would say. But also, it's like a tile, tile Windows tile UI. So, well... Anyways, okay, the market is also the same which we have seen in Gingerbread because Google updated the market before the launch for this, so it's it's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Let's see. Okay, you see how it's like three D browsing between the apps. It's pretty cool and then whoa they still call that app as people i thought it was contacts anyways okay well you let's look at the slack or radio let's look at how the sound works here and actually it pre i've tested it before it's pretty 
better than uh, the gingerbread. Let's look at little rain. As you can see the, the audio quality is crystal clear, much better than gingerbread and all the Android ROMs I've seen. And okay, so the audio is pretty good. The music app which I've seen except for the Google Music, it's it's pretty the same. There's not much tweaking in there. And let's look at the widgets which is kind of uh, really good widgets they've added, bookmarks, then they've added contact images, like you can add a contact whom you call frequently and the calendar and then we have direct dial you can directly dial the person direct message it's it's basically like the shortcuts you keep on your quick dial numbers email facebook gmail gmail label google plus photo search and everything okay now let's look at what's the difference in the features over here. like this is the contact image which we use this and this is what we have like look at this the good thing about the widgets they have they are basically you can resize them the way you want like if you want them one row one column you can actually make them one row one column and or just make it one row and or let's make it one row and you can actually you see you can browse in the video so it's it's really good features you can use all the screens and the as many widgets as you want so better GUI management uh, better space management and let's look at the calendar over here and yeah, this is the kind of calendar we have we can just go click over here I can go in and we can just zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in like the way they showed it over uh, in the demo the Google Google people folks showed us the demo for this so it's pretty cool and uh, okay and the YouTube is also pretty good but it's not working on this phone because I, as I told you it's not a perfect ROM there's a lot of development needs to be done over here but day-to-day -day use calling and everything works pretty fine let's try making a call and see how it works let's go to recent okay well let's search the number let's call this number because it's a computer so you can have a look at the calling screen so this is how the way call will come to big picture and then and this is like you can have loudspeaker and everything and what else so overall I would say and um, based on GUI what I've seen this is one of the best GUI I've ever seen on an, any Android ROM it's perfect it's beautiful it's got all the the best features of all the operating system like for example you can just delete this notification like this and if if you are busy in something you don't want to be bothered bothered um it's got all the best features from windows 7 web os and obviously android it's got thousands and thousands of applications in the android market a lot of them are free and you can just customize the the ui the way you want it you can just you know look at the beautiful wallpapers the way the pixel density are we, we are getting here it's just phenomenal it doesn't look like an android phone in the start but it is an android and i just love it so i would say on the gui part this phone this rom this 4.0.1 is just beautiful it takes probably 9 out of 10 from my side and I would rate Windows 7 as 10 out of 10 because that is something which is very phenomenal they came up with. 
but it lo it has uh i would say a lot of pros and cons rather than so if you want really good phone it's very fast it's it's just very very fast faster than all the roms i have ever seen whether it's gingerbread whether it's froyo it's way fast it's beautiful the functionality is too good the applications are just amazing they work they have re-engineered everything so it's just just amazing so from my side functionality it's pretty cool and uh, you should actually go for it and uh, I've heard there are some bugs over there for example uh, people are complaining about uh, the volume bug if you are working on a 2G network and the volume itself goes to zero but since this is this is uh, this is a different hardware so I believe that's a hardware problem and uh, I've read online that HTC has, HTC has sorry Samsung has already figured the hardware problem or software problem so they're gonna apply some patch so once the ROM will be stable in a couple of months and uh, it's good to go so overall 9 out of 10 for android 4.0.1 thank you and yeah if you have any problems with the video if you think it's not clear you can pay your regards to steve jobs because i'm using an apple phone to record this video so all right bye bye take care